Hey guys, um, this is my first uh, fan theory video for a movie that I've ever done. So if it comes out completely sloppy, sloppy and disjointed, that's the reason why. Um, I do have my notes in front of me, which so if you see me reading, that's the reason why. But um, anyway, the uh, theory that I'm coming from is based on the new trailer for uh, the movie Disney Pixar's Lightyear. And I'm really excited about this movie, as my friends can tell you, Toy Story. And um, in The Incredibles are two are always fight for the number one spot in my favorite Pixar movie. But anyway, I feel like I have a good case if I could get this out clearly. So let's get into it. Anyway, as stated before, um, did Pixar released its second trailer for the movie Lightyear. And um, I have a theory about the plot of the movie, or should I say a possible twist that they can do. So um, just a heads up, possible spoilers for the show and by some miracle, the movie. So um, for those of you who don't know, um, Buzz Lightyear had a 2D animated show that ran for two seasons with uh, 62 episodes from October uh, 2nd, 2000 to July, uh, January 13th, 2001. And uh, that all the, the whole show stemmed from the movie um, Buzz Lightyear Star Command, The Adventure Begins. Great movie, great show, lots of fun, lots of laughs. But um, anyway, why do I bring this up? Well, because it's possible that the team at Pixar has adapted some of the many things in the show for the movie Lightyear. Now, how can I now what evidence do I have to back this up? Well, how about the first joke in the new trailer? First hyperspeed test flight is a go. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. Just doing the mission log. You do know no one ever listens to those. I know that. Narrating helps me focus. Is also the first joke in the animated movie. The bottom with no sign of the missing personnel. Hey, come on, buddy. Nobody ever reads those reports. Warp, my friend. Procedure is what separates us from the wicked forces of chaos. Do I got you so far? Great. So here's my thought. Um, for the first episode of the second season called uh, Lost in Space, oh, sorry, Lost in Time. Lost in Space is a different show. Lost in Time. Um, the episode begins with Team Lightyear fighting Zerg near a black hole. Now, Buzz tries to lure Zerg into the black hole, but in the process, he gets shot forward uh, into the future. Welcome to the future, Mr. Lightyear. Ranger. The Buzz Lightyear Star Command Museum? Dedicated to the great hero who lured Zerg into the inescapable grasp of a black hole. Now, this is another clip from the new Lightyear trailer. Socks, how long were we gone? Meow, 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 meow. 62 years, seven months, and five days. What? Now, if you've seen the episode, you know how the story goes. If you don't, again, spoiler warning ahead. So, in case you haven't already figured out, Buzz was in a simulated reality controlled by Zerg to gain Star Command secrets from its best space ranger. Now, obviously, Buzz is able to find this out. He helps rescue his team, and him and his team all uh, are able to defeat Zerg and even gain some of Zerg's secrets. So with that in mind, um, I think that aside from a few adapted references from the show, that they might adapt uh, part of that storyline, Lost in uh, Time's storyline, and put it as a twist like halfway through the movie. I mean, how cool would it be for fans of the show to see that kind of a twist on the big screen. And if you really look at it already, there's references to the show. I mean, Socks is technically a version of XR. Um, Izzy might be a version of Mira. And this guy might be a version of Commander Nebula. Who knows? Now, in reality, is my theory correct? Probably not. Would it be cool if it was? <laughs> yeah. If I'm wrong, will it affect my enjoyment of the movie? Are you kidding me? It's a Pixar sci-fi. I'm going to eat that up even if it sucks. Anyway, that's my theory. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I look forward to reading the comments and seeing, seeing what you guys think uh, in the comments below. But uh, yeah. 
so yeah that's about it um so see you guys in infinity and beyond i can't tell you how many times i practiced that last part